Good morning. Good morning. This Mass is being streamed for those at home and for those at home. We're glad you could join us this morning. Welcome. This Mass is being offered up for Dave Catalano and Mary Kinder. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, today we celebrate also for our brothers and sisters, especially for those who are sick and for those who have been affected by HIV AIDS. Today is World AIDS Day. I remember 20 years ago when Tanzania declared HIV AIDS as a national disaster. Let us continue to be thankful for the gift of life, but also for the gift of all the expertise for each and everything what they are doing it to support us and to heal us. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, and to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my, my thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have I done and what I have failed to do. Through, through my, my fault, fault, through my fault, fault through, through my, my most grievous, grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, Blessed, Blessed Mary, your Virgin, and all the angels and saints, and you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord God, on our petitions and in our trials. Grant us your compassionate help that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be the guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play in the cobra's den and the child lay his hand in the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse, set up as a signal for the nations, the Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. The response will be, justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. 
Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out and, he, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever as long as the sun his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Your blessing, Father. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that, that see what you see, for I say to you, Many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, as I said at the beginning of this Mass, that today is World's AIDS Day, I was asking myself today, trying to ponder 20 years ago when Tanzania declared HIV AIDS as a national disaster. I see the impact of this disease, this virus. I remember I lost three siblings, my elder brother and the two sisters. And today I was asking myself, because I see after 20 years, now we see that there is a big development of trying to help those people who are suffering with HIV AIDS. I have another sister. She's struggling also with the same problem. But this time, she's getting a very good care, and especially with those kind of medication. Today, I'd like to say, as we continue to pray for them and for those who are strugg strugg struggling in this journey of their lives, let us remember also the researchers and those doctors and those who are struggling to make sure that we get a, a good care and the medicine to help those people in need. And that's why it helps me also to ponder as we journey together this time of the pandemic of, of COVID-19. Now we hear, hopefully, we'll get the vaccine. But let us continue to pray for those who have died and for those who are still struggling. But remember, we pray also for those researchers and those companies which they are coming up with different preventions and different steps to help us to cure. Today, Jesus is calling us in a different way and is calling us to listen to what he has entrusted us. And sometimes he's coming to us in a very simple way, but we have to recognize him because he's telling us and he's watching us and he's with us. This time of Advent, let us ask ourselves, how are we going to embrace, to recognize, 
the coming of our Lord. As we, the parish of the Church of Ascension, we have decided to come up with the new way of going together as a family, missionaries, disciples. We are called to be missionaries, disciples, and who we are. And through the sacrament of baptism and the sacrament of confirmation, we have that mandate to continue to be missionary disciples. Let us make use of this time of Advent to be really the time of change, the time of conversion, and the times of recognizing that Jesus is coming to us in a very simple way as we extend our hands to our brothers and sisters, especially those who are in need. Let us open our heart and see and embrace as he has entrusted us. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of healing and for the gift of all the experts and all the doctors, and for those we pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful day. Give us courage always as we continue to see that this time of Advent, let us be real at the time of change and the time of welcoming you in our hearts. And for this we pray. We pray for our country. We pray for the leadership. And we pray for each and every one so that we may continue to be united with love and peace. And for this we pray. We pray for the whole world. As we are struggling with this COVID-19, we thank you, Lord, for giving us an opportunity to continue to give our hopes for each and everything what you have showed us. And for this we pray. For those who have died with HIV AIDS and even for COVID-19, Lord, receive them for eternal rest. And for this we pray. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will come our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since you have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, 
and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with the thrones and the dominions, and with hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are clay. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that who have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mary, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Dave Catalano and Mary Kenda, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the river us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil, precious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with each of you. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins the of the world, world grant, grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sack of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. A reminder for communion, when you come up to the table, please have a mask covering your nose and mouth. Cup your hands. We'll deposit the host in the hands. Step to the side, lower the mask, consume the host, raise the mask, and then return to your seat, please.
The just judge will bestow a crown of righteousness on those who eagerly await his coming. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. On the behalf of Deacon Jim, I would like to say thank you for your prayers, for your participation, and for those who are watching live stream, must I say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. As we know, we have just begun the journey of Advent, it's the journey of hope, expectation. Let us continue with all those expectations to allow the coming of our Lord Jesus to transform ourselves fully, not only by ourselves, but also even for others whom we are going to stand with. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives.